I've got news for you. This is one beauty pageant you are not gonna win. Who y'all think y'all frontin' on? Don't act like you forgot. Hello, 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 babes. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we will be discussing Miss Lisa Turtle from Saved by the Bell. So let's get into it. Lisa Turtle, played by the beautiful Lock Boris, is one of the most underrated fashion icons of the 90s. She was one of the reasons everyone fell in love with Saved by the Bell. Her character was sassy, bougie, and known for her fashions. Lisa's fashion wasn't dull and boring and showcased her personality. She was also a positive representation for young black girls, showcasing her femininity as well as her no-nonsense attitude. Having a friend like Lisa was like having your own fashion magazine as she always knew what was in and what was out. And this made sense because she wants to become the world's largest fashion designer, which I think she deserved her own spin-off and it would have been a major success. But oftentimes with the most popular characters of the show who captivates people, it's almost always a missed opportunity. Lisa's fashion consisted of sparkles, tutus, colors, animal prints, studs, and skirt suits which I am still obsessed with. Everything that is on trend right now, Lisa has been there and done that. Oversized scrunchies and color mixing and the very popular zebra print. Not afraid to accessorize, she made sure that her outfits weren't the only thing you noticed. She wore big earrings, earrings in different colors, bracelets in different colors and sizes, and never shied away from standing out. Now, I prefer the later seasons of Saved by the Bell because I'm, I'm not particularly a fan of the 80s fashion, as some of the looks were still catering to the 80s as the show began filming around 87, 88, and aired in 89. Now. Of course, Lisa was styling and profiling, but I just prefer the later seasons where we got her in her skirt suits in multiple colors because it's still so relevant and classic in today's fashion. Elizabeth Bass, who was the costume designer for Saved by the Bell, did such a phenomenal job dressing the cast according to their characters. A lot of times we talk about the characters and forget the stylists and designers who are responsible for putting these looks together and working tirelessly behind the scenes. Lisa was confident, vibrant, and beautiful and her wardrobe reflected exactly who she was. Lisa had the wardrobe that most girls dreamed about in the 90s and years later her fashion is being talked about in magazines and on social media but I still feel as though she is an underrated fashion icon compared to who we've seen at the forefront when it comes to impact on fashion. And if I'm being honest, a lot of the people that were put in the forefront didn't have much fashion sense as well as the it girl factor that she had. There was something different and unique about Lisa that made people fall in love with her because although she came from a well-off family, she wasn't a snob who thought she was better than people. She was just a well-dressed, beautiful girl who cared about others. And for her to have been a high schooler, she was up there with a few adult fashion icons. Lisa Turtle, Whitley Gilbert, Hilary Banks, and Ray Jean Hunter were the original bad and bougie characters who had a top tier wardrobe and put on for the black women and girls everywhere who wouldn't settle for less, loved the best of the best, and took pride in how they look. Which for me is still important and somehow it seems as though some people don't care how they look when they leave the house and just have no care in the world for how they represent themselves. And these are the same people who believe they should have the same opportunities with getting jobs, gigs, and much more as a person who took their time out to make sure they looked good and had enough respect for not only themselves but the other people giving them those opportunities to make sure they put on their best selves. Now, that's not to say you have to wear a ball gown and high heels anytime you step outside, but to wear pajamas and slippers outside the same pajamas you slept in is not only disgusting, sorry to say it, but you just never know who you can bump into or see. I don't know, maybe it's because my grandmother's West Indian, but going outside in your pajamas was always a no, no. Now, back to Lisa Turtle because I've gotten way off track. I would suggest watching some Saved by the Bell episodes so you can get some inspiration or just enjoy the fashion during that time period. Lisa didn't tone down her femininity or bright outfits for anyone, even if she may have been over the top for some. She gave you the best accessories and matched them up perfectly, especially the hats, because it was not the 90s if you didn't have a stylish hat to complete your outfit. Lisa made sure everything was intact from her head to her toes. 
her nails were always done, her makeup was always subtle but on point, and her hair, whether in an updo, curly or straight, was always on point as well. And that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.